Alrighty, here we are. So I'm going to be making a kind of a tour of the phone system here. Uh, my whole telephone network set up with my friends. So where it's actually primarily at is High Smart Alarms' house. He's got a 3CX set up there that all of our systems connect to, like me and him and Nick Creeks. But here is the interface for me. It is an AdTran, Total Access 908E. And we have a, all the all the lines there. So first off, I'm going to show the extensions, like hosted on this. First off, it has a line that goes into the radionics panel. So eventually, when I get dialer stuff working on this, it'll be able to dial out. But um, the second line is reserved for when I have two panels set up. I like to put them on separate lines so they can work simultaneously. The third one goes to this phone, which the hook switch sticks, but they do work. Uh, the fourth goes to a phone on my bed, and the fifth goes uh, to a loopback line. I'll explain that in a bit. We got an FXO that goes to this cable, and we have systems linked, so from there, we go down here. And we end up at Panasonic Isophone 616, and I got it opened up. Let's see how that looks. Got all that wired up there. So, from that, uh, if you dial 81, you go into this channel bank that's ran off the Cisco system. If you dial 84, you used to be able to get into the NEC like that, which I'll show in a little bit here. If you dial 85, goes into that loopback line, so I can dial, so remember that green phone on the wall is hosted off the main system, I can go over here, I can dial 85, and then 403, that rings, likewise, uh, this one actually, this one has this phone on it, as well as that rotary phone, and the modem here that's not used at the moment, and just other stuff I test. And over here, we dial 425. Oh my goodness, I can reset, so I don't have to do that. 425, hit pound, because it dials faster. You may not be able to hear. Dial tone from the Panasonic. Then we dial 8, um, I guess I can do 8-1. And if you look, we picked up line one on the channel bank, and got New Zealand dial tone from the Cisco system, and then dial 9000, and we can get into the Cisco phone there. Now, continuing on, that takes a long time to hang up. If I dial 425, oh, failed again, goodness. 425 pound. There we go. I'm trying to dial too fast. And I dial just 11. It dials that phone, which. I don't know why that's so loud. That's better. Okay. But yeah. So you can dial into. Dial into all the different systems from the different systems. And yeah, so now with the Cisco, um, this line here, 9001, is connected to the Panasonic, so you can dial into the system. 9002 actually goes into a trunk to an NEC Aspire, or Aspire, I don't know how you say it, I'm going to just say Aspire. And that's out in the garage, which I'll show in a second here, but uh, I guess I can dial into it real quick here. Oh, and that phone right there, 7912, is just on the system, like my friend's system. Anyway. Now, once it rings again, you'll get an answering machine. See, it picked up. After the tone, leave your message and hang up. But, uh, yeah. The answering machine set to announcement only. That's going to be a test line, but I just haven't set it up yet. I'll show you that when I get out there. It's a pretty neat answering machine. But, yeah. Now, I can show you what it sounds like. So, if we dial on this one, let me just 
put this one back down here. Ugh. All right. 25. Panasonic dial tone. Then we can dial 81. And get New Zealand dial tone from the Cisco, and then. So yeah, that's kind of how that works. Now I can go and show the stuff in the garage here. So, let's do that. And back here, we have the NUC Aspire, or Aspire, you know, that thing. That's all the way up here. There it is, with all stuff from the ripple control stuff. And we are lit by a mercury light, <laughs> because it's a little bit easier on the eyes, as compared to the very bright LED lights back here. But, yeah. There's it with the cover on. I've pretty loosened the screws. Pop that right off. Oh my goodness. I don't know where I'm gonna put this. There we go. Alright, there's the inside of it. It's all card based. Got some extra supplies as well as a phone, which I keep a phone out here because all my others are in my room. And it's nice to have one out here to test with. So I'll go through the system a little bit because I haven't shown it much. Power supply. And then we got the main controller card. This is an analog, like FXO, like an analog trunk card. This is an analog station card. So eight trunks, eight stations. And then two digital stations cards. I don't have any digital stations, but if I get some, there we are. And I haven't been able to configure this because I don't have a digital station, so I can't set the IP. And you need that for the software. Here's that answering machine. This is actually a tape answering machine. It's quite nice. I've had it for longer than I can remember. But, yeah, we also got this little switch thing down here. But, not important. Uh, we also, oh yeah, we got a phone on it. There's that. So, yeah. It's kind of neat. And, we can of course... Just make sure we're can dial uh, three o two, and it'll ring. I'll turn up the volume on this. After the tone, leave your message and hang up. And I can hit star to immediately cut it out. But yeah, and watch on here. Right when I pick the phone up, a LED comes on which just shows stations in use. And also something neat about this is, let me, okay, listen to, there's no high-low volume, is there? No. So listen to this. There's dial tone, right? You can take these cards out of service. See that flashing green light? Well, if we take this little switch here, do that, now it's out of service. So now if we pick the phone up, yeah, listen. Now it's uh, fast busy. And then we just put it back up, bring it back into service, and you can act, I think you can actually hot swap these cards. So yeah, there's the NEC, and that's really all that there is out here. I haven't put much on this system yet because I simply don't have anything to put on it. So if I ever, uh, we're gonna do a whole tour of the system, me, High Smart Alarms, and Nick Creeks how everything's hooked up, and then I'm intending to make a call through the system, so I'm intending to do it so uh, High Smart Alarms goes from his Nortel, from a phone on his Nortel, through his AdTran, through the 3CX, all into my AdTran, through the Panasonic, through the Cisco, to the NEC, to the phone out here. <laughs> so that would be pretty crazy. And then we'll do the most, like, the ultimate trunk disconnect sound. 
because he'll hang up and it'll disconnect there, dis disconnect its Adtran, my Adtran will disconnect, Panasonic will disconnect, and then Cisco will disconnect, and then the NEC will disconnect. So that would be an interesting noise. Let's see if I can manage to get this cover back on. Uh, maybe. I know it's possible, just not easy. There we go. Yeah, that's the that's the NEC out here, and this is like the first time you've ever seen it, unless you're following my Instagram, then you've seen it before. Something neat about this is its support, it like accepts, accepts pulse digits, which is quite nice because I can get like pulse phones and use it on this system on our network. And yeah, that's the whole... NEC, and that's the, that's all of the phone system. So, yeah, there might be some more to this coming at some point, maybe. I'm not sure. Not much to add. It's funny, we don't even really use the system that much. Maybe occasionally, yeah, but, like, the NEC is, like, never accessed. But, oh, here's an idea. Let's use this and dial 9 pound. At Cisco dial tone and dial 9997, which is a park slot. And in a second, it'll ring. You can hear the running in the 90s song at a very high volume. Because that's what the hold music is on, on the Cisco. Oh, and here's an idea. Let's demonstrate that. Ooh, wait. Dang it. <laughs> Oh, I keep forgetting. I have to... Why is this not working now? There we go. Alright, so that... Then we can flash. And it's on hold, right? Then we can flash again. And we're back. So listen. It's a stutter dial tone. And also, if we hang up, it does that every once in a while to tell us that we got a call on hold. Oh, also, I think it's. Listen. There's a paging extension on this. Why is that? There we go. Alright, so yeah, that's a little overview of the NEC, as well as the rest of the network. And yeah, that's about it. I'll eventually show some more of this. But for now, that's all I got. So, there you go.